one aspect of design experiments or one set of tools uh, that's not really well known is something called EVOP or evolutionary operations. That's the two word that that acronym stands for. Uh, and where evolutionary operations uh, fits or has been widely used in the past is in the chemical industry. Um, in particularly continuous flow or continuous processing type uh, activities where you can't just shut down or discreetly measure things. Uh, inputs are continually various, varying. You need to have a consistency in your output. And kind of the way that EVOP real simply works uh, is you do your design experiments box, so to speak, and then based on uh, some replicates, you find the best condition and you center a new design space there. You do some more replicates, maybe the box expands, uh, and you're just moving around um, uh, you know, to the best, best condition, uh, continually, again, it's the evolving part uh, of your operation. And so you want to make sure you're still within a window that can be uh, acceptable, but also trying to always find that spot that's a little bit better. So when you do have a, a, a modification or a, a drift in one of your inputs, that you're, it's not going to be catastrophic. You're always trying to find that constantly finding that sweet spot. Uh, there's not a whole lot written about EVOP. Uh, there are uh, some books that I've, I've read. The concepts are something that, that I've looked at applying and where they fit, where they don't fit. Uh, if you have a continuous operation, something that's evolving, the inputs are always drifting, and you would like uh, some assistance in how to find that with the DOE philosophy, being able to get interactions, and constantly finding a, a sweet spot, give us a call at Perry Solutions. We'd love to help you out, understand your process, and maximize your return on investment.